Hey guys, Alex here from Nothing Box TV, this time giving you a game box on Apex Legends. I just want to get this right out right now. I suck really, really bad at this game. Shut up, okay? I know I suck at most games. Oh, that's a space Oh, oh. no! Oh, I, <laughs> I suck at this <laughs> This is really embarrassing. I'm still putting this on the internet. Surprising everyone, Apex Legends dropped early February with very little notice at all. What's even more surprising is that it's actually good. Apex is a free-to-play battle royale set in the Titanfall universe, developed by a now EA-owned company called Respawn Entertainment. This game absolutely had all the cards stacked against it, and yet it somehow is an incredible success, at least as of right now. As a huge Titanfall fan, how does it stack up to its predecessors? So for these impressions, I got to play it on both Xbox and PC. Uh, I primarily play on PC, but I play on Xbox because my friends are peasants. When I first heard about this game the few days before its release, I practically scoffed and didn't give it much thought afterwards. I was actually a little upset because after hearing about all the horror stories about other companies that are purchased by EA, and basically how they end up getting shut down after a few games, I thought EA was planning on doing the same thing to Respawn by having them work on a free-to-play battle royale instead of Titanfall 3. However, about just a day after its release, I began seeing all the praise it was getting online. This just wasn't a dud from Respawn, it seems like a response to battle royale. It's like they saw it as a challenge and said that we could do it better. I decided to install it, and after a few matches my anger turned into excitement. I definitely still would take a Titanfall 3 from Respawn and not some other developer over this game given the choice, but this game feels like there is so much care and attention given to it, and they obviously have some great developers over at Respawn. Also, this is the first game from EA that shows that a developer's passion can stand above and shine through all the greed from its publisher. Gameplay wise, it is on point and feels just as good to control as Titanfall. Apex has actually gotten me to rethink and consider my thoughts about Battle Royale and Titanfall, at least as a a separate game mode. I believe now that Apex is out, also Titanfall's pilot controls are absolutely perfect for Battle Royale. The movement and sliding is so quick and effective during combat, and so if your aim is trash like mine, you still have a fighting chance. All you gotta do is be a total spaz. I have found myself sliding down many cliff sides and hilariously getting shot before I even had time to respond. I also feel like they certainly have looked up and addressed many of the issues people had with Battle Royale as a whole. For instance, you can fly together perfectly as a squad or split off if you wish. I hated getting separated during the drop, and as unrealistic as it is, you can be resurrected at any point if your squad retrieves your banner before it times out. Adding a resurrection also adds another survival element to the game, since enemy squads usually camp around the banner hoping to finish off the rest of your squad. Another great addition is the freaking ping system. I haven't seen a ping system this good since Siege, and Apex does it even better. You can ping an enemy with a double tap, even if they're out of view, which there rarely ever was a moment that I would have time to say something faster than I can ping it. You can't even ping an enemy in Siege unless you use the camera, so you have to spend more time trying to clarify your intel instead of working on winning against the other squad. Without it, I feel like I'm trying to say, uh, enemy over there by the tree, uh, west, and you gotta find the number on the top of the screen but then you're already dead. I do have to address the elephant in the room, and that elephant is EA. After Titanfall 2 got financially screwed over from its release date, we all know the story. EA purchased Respawn, and at least for right now, it's released Apex and is working on a new Star Wars game. It also seems that Respawn will not be developing Titanfall 3, and some other EA developer is or will be in the future. This is incredibly disappointing, and it really shows how little EA cares about its developers, or at least what they're passionate about. I have the feeling that DICE is developing Titanfall 3 with a Frostbite engine instead of Source engine, and I'm calling it now. It will only just be called Titanfall when we're going to have to put the year in parentheses because that's just how EA rolls. There's also the microtransactions which were completely expected and at least at the moment they're cosmetic besides unlocking the new characters faster. I just want to say that for the first time in years, EA you finally have something monetizable that people are responding positively to. You're going to need to tread very lightly and think carefully if you want to make stupid cash and make your people happy. In conclusion, Apex Legends is great but its foundation is very shaky. This is absolutely not Respawn's fault though and I firmly believe believe that this game has incredible potential if EA keeps its greedy hands away from it as much as possible. Let Respawn do all the work and they will make you boatloads of cash, but I know sadly that won't happen the way we want it to. I want this game to replace Fortnite, but EA's track record is just so so bad I can't even be hopeful at this point. I wish the best for Respawn, and may Apex Legends be the siege of Battle Royale. So do you guys think Apex will truly become legendary? Or do you think this game will just fall and collapse like every other e-game recently? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up. I hope you really enjoyed the video. And if you really, really enjoyed the video, I hope that you would consider subscribing. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.